friends, Trailblazers. I am Lieutenant Michael Ray, a strike officer, and welcome to USS Dover D Black. It is my pleasure to be your tour guide for today's virtual tour. USS Dover D Black DDG 119 is a Flight 2 Alpha Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer. The ship is highly capable of conducting a variety of operations from peacetime presence and crisis management to sea control and power projection. Equipped with more than enough offensive and defensive weapons, Dover D Black is capable of simultaneously fighting air, surface, and subsurface threats. And then with a delay, I know you guys are excited to see what the ship's all about. So let's put our mask on and let's get this tour underway. Delbert D. Black has two vertical launching systems, 96 cells altogether, 32 forward and 64 aft. Our vertical launching system is capable of launching multiple weapons to include standard missiles, vertical launching, ASROCs, and Tomahawks. Combat missiles, otherwise known as CMDiv, conducts our periodic maintenance to ensure we are always ready to support surface, air, strike, and anti-submarine warfare missions. Hi, I'm FC2 Scrimshire. I'm the lead SeaWiz tech on board the Delver D Black. This system is the Mark 15 Phalanx Closing Weapon System. Its primary purpose is anti air and missile defense. It fires a 20 millimeter tungsten projectile at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. We also utilize a thermal imaging camera to detect and engage surface targets and low slope flyers like surface skimming missiles and helicopters. My name is GM2 Megs. I'm one of the Mark 45, Mark 4 technicians on board Delbert D Black. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we do and the space that we're in. The Mark 45, Mark 4 is a lightweight gun system. Uh, it has the capability of shooting 16 to 20 rounds a minute, depending on if the round is fused or if it's not. The loader drum, which is located inside of the loader drum room itself, can hold up to 20 rounds. Uh, this right here is our EP1 panel. It's uh, our power panel. It's how we get power from the ship's power supply into the different components of 5-inch. This right here is our EP2 panel. It's pretty much the brains and the control center for 5-inch itself. Everything is housed into it. This is how we do our maintenance. This is how we control it, fire it. Anything you can think of or imagine, we can do it with this panel. Lieutenant Junior Grade Sam Strauss, I'm the first time on board Dilbert Black. So today we're on the boat deck with our two rigid hull inflatable boats and our Oldenburg slad. Rigid hull inflatable boats are 7 meters in length and capable of going upwards of 25 knots. You can carry at most 16 personnel, although typically we'll have around 5 in the rig. The rigid hull inflatable boats are used for personnel transfer, patrol operations, and they're one of our primary means of recovery if we were ever doing search and rescue operations.
Hi, I'm Blossom Mate Third Class, Sydney Armstrong, and today I'm going to talk to you about Deborah Black's flight deck. This is where we launch and recover helicopters in support of anti-submarine operations, supply deliveries, and personal transport. Here are a few markings out here where we use to keep things safe. This line is the T-line, and this is the ball and T-line that we use to help guide the helicopter while recovering it. We don't just work on the flight deck, we also use it for still beach picnics on deployments or under waves. Our ship also has helo hangers to stow up to two helicopters, utilizing the RAS system, which stands for Recovering Assist Secure Transfers. The ship's namesake is after Master Chief Petty Officer, Deborah D. Black. Born in Oklahoma, he enlisted in the United States Navy March 14, 1941. He served in many commands to include the USS Maryland, the USS Gardner's Bay, the USS Boxer, the USS Antietam, USS Carpenter, USS Norfolk, and many others. On January 13, 1967, Master Chief Black was selected as the first Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, advancing the highest ranks of Navy on issues associated with enlisting guidance, leadership, and policy. Master Chief Black was the first Navy enlisted man to receive the Distinguished Service Medal. On board Deborah D. Black, the culinary specialist and food service assistants ensure the crew and its guests receive three square meals a day. Good morning family, friends, and trailblazers. I'm your only second class, William Freeman, and I'll be giving you the virtual tour on birthing. On board, we have 11 enlisted brethrens and 13 officer staterooms. The racks are stacked three high. Most racks are equipped with storage under the mattress. Those that don't have a bigger stand-up locker. All racks are fitted with an escape, an emergency escape breathing device for emergency escape use only, which are used to egress the space in the event of a fire. Each brethren has a head, which is a Navy term for bathroom, that has a shower, sinks, and stalls. Hello everyone, I am Gas Term by Systems Mechanical Pig Officer First Class, Henry, and I'm going to be showing you what goes on in CCS, what we call Central Controlling Station. CCS is our main controlling station for all engineering equipment we have on board. We have our universal control consoles, which we call UCCs, that control all of our main propulsion and auxiliary equipment, ranging from our 50,000 horsepower LM2500 gas turbine engines, which are also used on jet aircrafts, all the way down to our air conditioning units. Also located in CCS are our repair station control consoles. These consoles control our fire main system, providing one of the many firefighting capabilities that we have on board. Let's not forget about our GTGs, what we call the gas turbine generators that provide power to the ship. And I'm Kim at San Amazon. And today we'll be presenting the pilot house, also known as the bridge. While underway, the pilot house is stood by the officer of the deck, the CEO's representative underway, and his bridge team, which includes the conning officer, boatsman of the watch, quartermaster of the watch, helm, and lee helm. The officer of the deck's primary responsibility is safe navigation of the ship and navigating the seas as professional mariners. Some of the resources to assist us in the pilot house include Voyage Management System, Bridge Master Echo, Spook 9 Bravo Radar, Integrated Bridge Navigation System, Rules of the Road, and many more. Hey, good morning. This is uh, Commander Gallagher, Executive Officer. Uh, this is an exciting day, one I've looked forward to for a long time and the crew's worked hard for for a long time. Uh, so we're on our way to Port Canaveral for our commissioning. Uh, the process of this taking place goes back to when I stood in uh, for the christening ceremony in uh, November of 2017, almost two years ago. Um, what I said there was that 
it was the job of the shipbuilder to build us a ship, and it was the, it was my job uh, and the rest of the crew's job to train ourselves and be ready to uh, take the ship and execute all missions. Uh, so this commissioning is kind of a culmination of those events. Uh, so we're all very excited to be on our way to Port Canaveral. We're all very excited to uh, have the most uh, lethal and combat capable ship entering the uh, U.S. fleet. Good afternoon, family and friends. I'm Commander Matthew McKenna, Commanding Officer of Delbert D. Black. I want to thank you for taking this virtual tour and getting to see some of the amazing crew members on board and getting to see our ship. Uh, we all have the honor of serving aboard a ship named after the first MCPON, Delbert D. Black, and we're truly honored that we're able to continue his legacy. I apologize that we weren't able to get you on board to see it in person. I hope this virtual tour was informative and you enjoyed it. And when the uh, COVID restrictions have been relaxed, I look forward to having you on board so you can see this amazing ship. Captain out.